tracking a moving image with a spotlight in Sony Vegas is very easy to achieve and during the next three minutes I'll show you how we make this happen. We're using Vegas Pro for this demonstration but the same process works equally well in Movie Studio. With the image clip on the timeline create a copy on the video track above it. Now apply the composite fader to the lower clip. To do this, right click on the lower track control pane, highlight install remove envelope and then select composite level. This puts a blue fader line on the clip which we will use later to adjust the output level. Of course you could also use the individual clip fader bar but in that case you could not add keyframes for fading and we'll cover this later. Next go to the video effects tab and select cookie cutter. From the options presented drag circle center onto the upper clip. At this point it's important to ensure that the scrub bar is at the start of the clip. Drag down the blue line to fade the bottom clip. In the preview window click on the center marker in the spotlight and drag it so that it's over the moving image. In the cookie menu use the adjustment sliders to create the look you want for your spotlight. To make the spotlight follow the image as it moves across the screen in the cookie cutter menu select center then click on the animation icon to open the key frames box. Run the clip to the end then go to the preview window and move the spotlight to the new image position. As you do this new keyframes will automatically be placed in the keyframe timeline. Move the scrub bar to the start of the clip. Run the video. The composite fader can also be used to fade the spotlight in and out by placing keyframes at each end, adjusting the composite bar to create a pleasing start and finish to the effect. I hope the three minutes you've spent with us have been of value and I thank you for watching.